me, when we're talking about our teeth, now this this is of course a very important conversation for us to have, considering the number of challenges that we have, um, you know, all the time. And we're going to look at the most asked questions, the five most frequently asked questions about our teeth. Let's get into that conversation now. Dr. Yao Asamoidu has joined me. He's the um, he's a dentist with Platinum Orthodontics, and uh, he's going to help us to get into that conversation. Good morning, Doc. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing excellent. How it's are fantastic. you? Fantastic. It's good to have you here. Good to be here. So, so what, what would you say is the most common question that you hear <laughs> when it comes to dentistry about people's teeth, whatever? What was the most common question that you hear? Okay. So let me give you some background on okay. this. So um, it's interesting. Most of the time, generally, Ghanaians don't have a very keen uh, desire to see dentists. Mm. So it's True. quite often to see someone and say, well, I don't really like come to see the dentist. Yeah. However, there's an interesting paradox. Anytime I go for a party or any social event, yeah. anywhere I am, yeah. and it somehow comes up that I'm a dentist, okay. all of a sudden, everybody <laughs> wants me to look in their mouth. And if you've got some nice Ghanaian jollof close to you, it's not, a, you know, it's not the right time. But I mean, what I realized is that every time we have that happen, yeah. there were certain questions that I typically, typically get asked. Mm. So um, what I wanted to do today was to try to address yeah. some of those questions, yeah. and so uh, hopefully we can do some of that. Okay. So yeah. um, I'll start with um, with the number one, which is what we call gingivitis. Mm. Yeah. Now, what is gingivitis? If you think about gingivitis, the best way to describe it is an inflammation or an irritation of the gums. Mm. And what causes this? Usually, what you would notice is that. If you hadn't been cleaning your teeth as regularly as you should, yeah. or as well as you should, then you would notice that along the gum lines, you yeah. would have the accumulation of what we call plaque. Mm. Now, what does plaque look like? If you looked in a mirror, you would see along the gum lines, especially if you haven't seen your dentist in a while, you would see that along the gum line, you have this yellowish uh, buildup along the gum okay. lines. And that's what okay. we call Gingivitis. Uh, yes. Yeah, so it is that that causes okay. the gingivitis. Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. So um, that is that is the thing about gingivitis. Now, why is this important? When we were growing up, we were told that you know there's this Ghanaian proverb that says in the in the local language that you know if your parents have looked after you for your teeth mm. to erupt, you have to look after them for their teeth to fall <laughs> out. Uh, so it's a very nice proverb, mm. and I, I get what it's trying to say. But the truth is that. What causes our parents' teeth to fall out yeah. eventually is because it's gingivitis that has gone uncontrolled. Mm. Your teeth should be able to last you your lifetime. Okay. So when your teeth are falling out, yeah. it is not normal. Okay. And what causes that a lot of the time is gingivitis. The thing is, gingivitis is so common, it's about 90% of oh, wow. people worldwide have it. I see. Yeah. So it is one of those things that you are likely to meet several people in a day who have mm. some form of it in okay. one way or the other. Okay. What also makes it a little dangerous is the fact that it is usually quite painless. What you might notice is a little bit of um, bleeding around the gums. Maybe mm. when you brush your teeth, you mm. spit out, you realize, oh, there's a little bit of blood. You know, but generally, it can be quite painless. And so, you know, if something is not causing you pain, yeah. you're not going to go in to go okay. and see the dentist. Okay. Unfortunately, because of that, by the time that it really starts to get uncomfortable, mm irreparable damage has been done. Has been done already. And then, usually, they are looking at things like your teeth falling out. Okay. Now, why you don't want to get to that point is that when your teeth fall out, it also comes with several other, mm. you know, implications, complications, and complications. Yeah. And so you always want to make sure that you are getting dental care as, regularly as as just possible. to make sure that you don't get into okay. that, that position. All right. Fantastic. Yeah. Holes in the teeth. So that is number two. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So... Uh, usually is a close second to the first one, which is uh, the gingivitis. Holes in the teeth. Basically, when I, when I talk to my patients, I always try and explain it like this. Anything that, you know, goes wrong in your mouth, mm. I mean, if you put the fact that, you know, oral hygiene and how often you brush yeah. Yeah. aside, mainly you're looking at uh, cavities and you're looking at the effect, the cause of that, which is sugar. Mm. So a lot of the time, you know, also, cavities can be painless in the beginning. And usually, you'll go through several stages, about four stages, okay. before it becomes 
painful. Mm. Most people will come in when it's painful. Yeah. But actually, the truth is, if you can catch it in the early stages, you can avoid having to do complicated treatments. Okay. It can, you can avoid having to do anything that is uncomfortable. Hmm. Very quick procedure, you're okay. in, you're out, no concerns. However, if you don't catch it early, then you're looking at something which is more, more complicated, complicated and also sometimes more painful. All right. So you don't want to get to that point. How do you avoid this? Mm. See your dentist regularly. Okay. Yeah. Um, do teeth challenges cause bad breath? Yes, they do. So it's interesting you ask that because um, we tend to classify bad breath into two sort of um, categories. Mm. One which is caused by things what we call local in the yeah. mouth. Okay or things that are systemic, which are things that, so if something in your body is causing that smell in okay. your mouth, okay. or something in your mouth, mouth is causing, causing this. Yeah. Okay. so that's how we tend to categorize it. And mm. one of the things that can actually cause bad breath is if you have holes in your teeth. Now, let me just explain. <laughs> so let's assume you have a hole in your tooth, yeah. and then you brush your teeth, okay? But when you brush your teeth, your brush doesn't get into the hole. And so whatever food is in there, it stays in there. Yeah. And then over time, you keep going on, you keep going on. All that food is staying in there. You have food from maybe last week. So the food is rotting in your mouth. Exactly. My goodness. And of course, <laughs> anything that gets rotten will produce bad yeah, breath. Yeah, bad breath. So okay. that is one of the main causes. Also, what we call gum disease. So gingivitis, when it's yeah. uncontrolled, it goes on. Eventually, it can cause the gums to also begin to sort of give a certain kind of smell. Okay. And that can also give you a lot of a lot of bad breath. Okay. Yeah. Talk to me about discoloring of teeth. Yeah. So that is, that is, I think, in my opinion, one of the ones that I also get asked a lot. Okay. Okay. So for me, uh, what I've found is that a lot of people are concerned about the color of their teeth. Mm. In fact, I was having a discussion with someone this morning, and the first thing they remarked upon, or that they, that they wanted to ask about was the color of their teeth. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's important to know that most people do have uh, what, you, what we call a spectrum mm. okay so when you come into the practice we'll let you know that there is a spectrum of what is considered normal color of okay. teeth okay and then there is also what is abnormal okay now in some cases what you have is people who have been exposed to certain drugs when they were very young mm. or even in during their development they had certain challenges you realize that their teeth have a very peculiar color okay now in those people you realize that their teeth are mm. very very different from what is considered normal mm. Now, in some people, their teeth are not brilliant white, but they are probably ivory and, you okay. know, off-white, and they think they would love it to be whiter. Mm. So what we typically do is that you can do what we call tooth whitening. Tooth whitening, people have some concerns about it. Is it painful? Is it safe? Does it cause sensitivity? Yeah. If it's not done properly, yes to all the above. Mm. At Platinum Dental, what we try to do is that before you come in and do tooth whitening, we screen you first. Okay. Okay, because... We want to make sure that you don't have any underlying health conditions okay. before you go and do... That will be compromised by the... Exactly. Yeah, okay. It's like doing makeup and then underneath the makeup you have sores and things <laughs> on your face. <laughs> so Ouch. you want to make sure that all those things are settled okay. first right. before you go on to do... Okay. To before do you talk to us about uh, gaps in your teeth, yeah. what's this here? What are we looking at here? Great. So. Second on my list of uh, my frequently most asked questions was mm. what I call what you ask yeah. the holes in the teeth. Yeah. Now, I mentioned the sugar. Mm. Okay. Now, what you will notice is that these are sort of um, representative of the various drinks that we commonly take. Yes. And then below, so the, as the first row, and below that is the second row, which shows you the, the amount, amount of sugar, sugar. Ouch. in these things. Ish. Now, what mm -hmm. we have to understand is that when it comes to decay, mm. the main comp component is sugar. Okay. And the more your teeth is exposed to sugar, the more your chances of developing decay are. Okay. Now, I know people who say that I eat all the sugar in the world, I yeah. don't have decay. Yeah. There is that aspect. There are genetic differences in people which allow people, certain people, to get away with it. Yeah. But you don't know which category you, you are, are in. in. Okay. So you don't want to, to risk it. But yes, you have the fizzy drinks. You have There seems to be sugar. a lot of sugar in fruit juice. It is. But I thought fruit juice was... Just yeah, you would think so. Yeah. But it's not as natural as they try to wow. tell us, you know. And wow. um, unless you are squeezing it yourself, okay. you can never truly be sure okay. how natural okay. it is. Because, I mean, in the end, they have to preserve the fruit juices. Yeah. And that's one of the ways of... Coconut preserving. water is very little. It's and then water has yeah. nothing. And no water has nothing. So, so 
water is your go-to mm. fluid if you yeah. want to if you want to avoid decay I'm, I'm i'm actually thinking of very soon launching a sort of campaign against sugar uh, because it has become such a prevalent thing mm. in our in our environment that we even give it to children as a reward and yeah. um, you know so yeah. already you're sort of tweaking the mind, the mind to think that sugar is something it's desirable. a reward you know yeah. you see that something that's so beneficial um, anyway finally just wrap up for us with the last one gaps in your teeth what's wrong with having gaps in your teeth actually there's is it, you know it, it's, it's a tricky question <laughs> because to be honest depending on where you are yeah gaps in your teeth might or might not be a problem okay there are certain uh, tribes in the world where they actually file their teeth to create gaps oh wow yeah and here hey, in ghana what we call the midline diastema yeah, which is the middle of one of the you know you have one it's, it's like a beauty thing exactly you know you look excellent <laughs> with it but in some people also they feel well i'd like to close the gap mm. and you know you have different ways of doing that you can either use what we call um uh, braces, which is okay. we actually move the teeth together, okay. or we make each teeth slightly bigger okay. to sort of close the gap. Oh. And there are different ways of doing that. Mm -hmm. And it's you know the only thing, of course, with the using the making the teeth slightly bigger is that you can't chew bones and things mm -hmm. like that because it's merely a cosmetic yeah. procedure. But yeah. Yeah, it can't be corrected when you come. I in see. For okay, so practice. doctor, before you leave us, where can people find you? You know, follow you, find you. Okay, so we uh, we are at Airport Hills next to Leicester Hospital. Okay. Um, we, our website is www.platinum-dental.com. Okay. You can also reach us on 0302 mm. or even by email info at platinum-dental.com. Okay. Are you on social media at all? We are on social media, okay. Platinum Orthodontic, Orthodontic Service, or the Services and Advanced Dentistry. Okay, that's yeah. um, what, Twitter or Facebook? So Facebook and Instagram. And Instagram. And also Fantastic. LinkedIn. Okay, yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. But you can actually just Google us Platinum Dental. We are, we are the only platinum ones. Platinum Dental. Up. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. We'll, we'll be speaking with Dr. Yao Asamwedu, and he's a dentist with Platinum Orthodontics and, um, and Advanced Dental Services. Uh, fantastic conversation. I, I trust that you've learned quite a bit. Watch your sugar. Hi there. We hope you enjoyed the show. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment, and share with your friends. This is Breakfast Daily on City TV. Join the Breakfast Daily team Monday through Fridays from 7.30 a.m. to 10. Join us for breakfast daily, only on City TV.